somebody came up to me. They said, E.T., man, I'm tired, E.T. I'm tired, E.T. I put in the work, E.T. I'm not seeing the results, E.T. I'm ready to give up, E. I'm ready to give in, E. Come on, E. You, I did what you told me to do. I read the book you told me to read. I put in the hours you told me to put in. E, I'm doing it, and I'm not seeing anything. Listen to me closely. Listen to me closely. When you get to the point where enough is enough, when you get to the point where it hurt real bad, when you get to the point you can't take it no more, when you get to that point, I'm telling you, I can't explain it to you. But doors start opening. Opportunities start happening. But what you cannot do is you cannot quit doing the process. You cannot give up because it ain't what you see. You cannot give up. What you got to do is you heard it, you heard it, you read, you read it. I sent it out on Twitter. I told you champions keep going when they don't have anything left in their tank. That's the difference between the greats. That's, that's what separates them. When they don't have no more, when it's over, when they're tired, when they're frustrated, when they're ready to give up, when they spent their last dime, that's when they get started. Are you hearing me? It's when you have nothing left. It's when you depleted all your money, when all your energy gone, when you have nothing left, that's when it's showtime. When you find a way out of no way, when you find breathe, breath that you don't have, when you find energy that did not exist, when you want this thing as bad as you want to breathe, I can't give in. My mama counting on me. My wife is counting on me. Listen to me. When you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe. When you ain't got nothing left in your tank, you got to think about the people in your life that you're doing this for. And then if you could think about them, you could go one more mile. You could go one more day at work. You can find a, you can find a scholarship. Listen to me. When you're doing it for somebody else, when you like that lion, if I don't grind, if we don't grind, if I don't grind, they don't eat. Are you hearing me? So it's your boy E.T. saying, listen to me. This is it. This is, I can't, I can't, I can't. I wish I could back off, but it's fourth quarter. I wish I could tell you something else. I wish I could tell you, you tired, go take a break. I wish I could tell you tired, rest for a year. I wish I could tell you that, that it's going to get easier. I wish I could tell you it's going to get easier. I wish I could tell you that if you just keep going, it's going to get lighter. The, the weight, the weight is going to get lighter. I wish I could tell you that, but that's not the truth. The truth is you got to find something within. You got to find something within and that's got to push you and that's got to elevate you and that's got to drive you and that's got to move you. And when you find out what your why is and your why got to be deeper than you, when you find your why, you don't hit snooze no more. When you find your why, you find a way to make it happen. So let me just say this to you. If it was easy, boo. Everybody would win the Rose Bowl. If it was easy, boo, everybody would be a national champion. Everybody would be a millionaire or a billionaire. Everybody company would blow up. Everybody would get a four-year degree, a master's degree. Everybody would have a medical degree or a PhD or a law degree if it was easy. But it ain't. But if you find a why, if you find something greater than yourself to move you, then you will make every single dream become a reality. It's your boy, E.T. You got to understand that there's a sense of urgency, that there are only eight, this is 86,400 400 seconds in a day and you gotta not only operate in them, you gotta do it quick, you gotta do it fast, you gotta do it in a hurry. Why? Because there's somebody else who's on the same track you are. Somebody else who, listen to me, they're on the same path that you are. Listen to me, it's somebody else just like you trying to do it and sometimes they're working just as hard as you're working. They're putting in just as much sweat, just as much tears, just as much blood, but you just gotta do it what? You gotta do it faster than they do it. You gotta do it quicker than they do it. Are you listening to what I'm saying? That's why I wake up at three o'clock in the morning because if you're getting up at six, you might be smarter than me. You hear me? You might. You might have more privilege than me. You might. You might have more resources than me. You might. But I'm gonna get up earlier than you and I'm gonna do it quicker than you do it. I'm gonna do it faster than you do it. So by the time you get up with all your resources, by the time you get up with all your privilege, by the time you get up with all your stuff, I've already finished the race. Are you hearing me? It's not just about finishing. Sometimes it's about finishing fast. So I need you to understand if you're gonna be successful, there's a sense of urgency.
you don't have as much time as you think you have. And if you watch these boys do it, every play, <laughs> every play is a drill. Every play is a two-minute drill. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? And so you got to pick up the pace. You got to tell my son, pick up the pace. You walking too slow, pick up the pace. You moving too slow, pick up the pace. If you want to finish sometime, you can't just finish. You got to finish fast. So number one, principle number one, there's a sense of urgency. You don't have as much time as you think you do. There's a sense of urgency, and you got to operate like there's a sense of urgency. Number two, I love it. They play hard, physical. Listen to me very closely. This ain't for the weak and the uncommitted. Are you hearing me? Success is not for the weak and the uncommitted. This is physical. Sometimes it's going to hurt. Sometimes it's going to be painful. Sometimes, listen to me, sometimes you're not going to be able to walk. Are you hearing me? Sometimes when I'm running on that treadmill, I don't feel as good as I normally feel. My leg hurts. Sometimes, sometimes I'm sick. But this is, this is a physical sport. And if you want it, you got to go get it. You got to play hard for it. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? It's not for the weak and the uncommitted. So you got it. My son, he'll say to me all the time, Dad, you being hard on me, Dad. Dad, I did eight things. Son, it ain't about, listen to me, it ain't about doing eight things, son. It's about doing 10, son. It ain't about doing seven good, son. It's about doing 10. It's hard. Yup, it's hard. Yup, it's difficult. Yup, why? Because the process is weeding out the weak. It's weeding out the weak. And so sometimes you got to play hard. You got to play physical. You got to play tough because the game itself is tough. The game itself is hard. I know you got what it takes not to quit, not to give up, not to give in. Finally, baby, I love it, I love it, I love it. Forget everything else. Forget that there was any sunlight left. What would you spend today thinking about? We get one opportunity in life. One chance in life to do whatever you're going to do. To lay your foundation and to make whatever mark you're going to make. Whatever legacy you're going to leave. Leave your legacy. And it's found through effort. Wins and losses come a dime a dozen. But effort, nobody can judge effort. Because effort is between you and you. Effort ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. Because every day is a new day. Every moment is a new moment. So now you got to go out and show them that I'm a different creature now than I was five minutes ago. Because I'm pissed off for greatness. Because if you ain't pissed off for greatness, that means you okay with being mediocre. And ain't no man in here okay with being just basic. So let's do what we do. Tonight, we ain't got to worry about taking no breaks. Eight months. That's how long you've been waiting for. This is the last day. I need you to grind. If you don't want it, somebody else got to come in here and take it. If you don't want it, somebody else is going to come in and take somebody's spot. This is it. This is what you need. You need to earn your spot. <laughs>